Hello, New York City. It is an honor for me to be here with all of you today on this historical day. And thank you all so much for coming. I heard there were in New York, they're still counting, but at least 250,000 people. Around the world today, uh, about four million people have been striking. We are still counting. So, this is the biggest climate strike ever in history. And, and we all should be so proud of ourselves because we have done this together. So thank you so much. I have some numbers that I wanted to share. In Australia today, about 350,000 people strikes for the climate. In London, about 100,000 people strike for the climate. In Berlin, it was about 270,000 people. People are striking today in over 150 countries. Antarctica, even Antarctica people are striking. And we are not in school today. And this time we are not alone. We have some adults who are not at work today either. And why? Because this is an emergency. Our house is on fire. And it's not just the young people's house. We all live here. It affects all of us. And we will not just stand aside and watch. We are united behind the science and we will do everything in our power to stop this crisis from getting worse. Even if that means skipping school or work, because this is more important. Why should we study for a future that is being taken away from us? that is being stolen for profit. And some people say we should study to become climate scientists or politicians so that we can, in the future, solve the climate crisis. But by then it will be too late. We need to do this now. Where I come from, Things are very different than here. But when it comes to the climate and ecological emergency and the people in power, it is pretty much the same. In fact, everywhere I've been, the situation is more or less the same. The people in power, their beautiful words are the same. The number of politicians and celebrities who want to take selfies with us are the same. The empty promises are the same. The lies are the same. And the inaction is the same. Nowhere have I found any, anyone in power who dares to tell it like it is. 
Because no matter where you are, even that burden they leave to us, us teenagers, us children. And this Monday, world leaders are going to be gathered here in New York City for the United Nations Climate Action Summit. The eyes of the world will be on them. They have a chance to prove that they, too, are united behind the science. They have a chance to take leadership, to prove they actually hear us. Do you think they hear us? We will make them hear us. Thank you. See you next